Hi everyone, my name is Lauren and welcome to my channel. This is our first um, Time for a Change collab um, update video. So basically all of us are just going to be updating every second um, Friday of the month at 8.30 New Zealand time and just letting everybody know how we're going with our goals and anything that we are wanting to change or um, continue or anything like that. So yeah, I've just got a few questions that I'm going to answer and we'll just jump right in. So the first one is just reminding everybody of my goals um, from my last video. So my goals were to cut out or cut down on bread and sugar. Number two, have I been sticking to my fitness plan or diet plan? Um, for the most part, yes. Um, I have had some slip ups. But I am overall pretty happy with how I've been going for the last um, two weeks. Especially with the bread. Um, I don't so much eat sandwiches, but I am a big toast eater. Because it's so yum and convenient and quick and easy. So... Usually I would have toast for breakfast just because I can put some on when I put my kids um, toast on if they're having toast or else I can put it on while I'm preparing their lunch or whatever and it's done in no time and then I can just quickly eat it while I'm doing other things in the morning. I also used to love having it for just a snack any time of the day if I couldn't be bothered making or thinking of something to make for lunch or after dinner or anything like that but yeah so I'm really happy I have only had I think I've only had toast twice in the two weeks so that's really good from going from like a few times a day usually to two times in like two weeks um, is really really good so I'm really happy about that one um, my sugar I haven't been as good with I definitely haven't cut down to um, what I wanted to cut down to. I have been a lot more careful with the food that I've been eating or choosing to eat um, and actually taking a look at the amount of sugar that's in things and it is crazy how much sugar is in things but um, yeah I'm still very addicted to sugary drinks which is very bad for you I know especially for me when I'm pregnant but I have always been addicted to them for as long as I can remember um, like probably since I was about 15 so it's been years over 10 years that I've been addicted to them and it's like <laughs> it's a serious it's like a drug addiction um, if I don't have it I have major withdrawal headaches um, and I'm just not a fun person to be around. But I have been drinking a whole heap load more um, water in the last... Pro I did start doing this a few weeks before we started this collab. Um, because... Yeah, I just wanted to get... I don't know. I just wanted to get healthier and stop drinking as much fizzy drink. So I've been drinking a whole heap more water. Um, I have... I think they are 600 ml bottles of water. I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they're 600 ml bottles. Hang on, one second. Um, yeah, so I have these 600 ml. Um, they're active spring water. They come in like 20 packs for like $10 at the supermarkets in here in New Zealand at the moment. Um, but. I just refill them with normal tap water and keep them in the fridge. I will not drink water if it's not really, really cold. So 
I find having them in these smaller bottles makes it a lot easier for me and it also having not such a huge bottle doesn't like makes me feel less overwhelmed with drinking heaps of water whereas if I could, if I had these little ones I just drink it in no time and then I refill it put it back and then I can just keep grabbing more and more and more and so yeah I just find that a lot easier Whew. Whoa, out of breath. Um, yeah, so that has actually helped me with my withdrawals from the sugary drinks and things like that. Um, and also has given me a lot more energy, I think. Like, I haven't been as tired or anything um, most of the time. So, yeah, it's been really good. Um, number three, what were the worst and best moments so far? Um, I don't know if I call it the worst, but for eating wise, um, was definitely my daughter's birthday. My daughter had her fourth birthday, um, last weekend. And so we didn't have like a huge party or anything, but we did have like a family lunch and dinner and thing, all that, everything day, whole day. Um, and we did eat not wonderful things, but I, I was okay with that. That was her birthday. I knew that would happen and I didn't go too overboard. So yeah, it was okay. And the best part, I have really enjoyed talking with all the girls. We have made a, um, Facebook page where we can communicate with each other and just, um, keep each other going and talk about like some of the girls say what they had for, to eat that day or whatever you want and it's just really good to see other people doing it and it just gets you motivated so that's probably my best part so far number four share something I have learnt um, well it's not really something I've learnt but it's something that I has been sort of shoved in my face or jumped out at me more um, since starting the collab is just how much sugar is in things that you wouldn't expect um, even things that are supposed to be healthy or better for you um, just have so much sugar and it's crazy and the things that we give our kids and it's just oh it's insane um, like, I'm not the type of mum that's, like, anti-giving my kids sugar because I just, I don't want to be that type of mum. But I do try to not give them too much sugar. And my kids don't drink any fizzy drink or um, anything like that. The closest that they would have would be probably raro, like, sachet juice made up every now and then. But my kids love water and I'm really happy that they love water. But um, they would happily eat lots of sugary things any time of the day if they could. <laughs> um, but I do try to rein that back. But just the thing, even the things that I think, oh yes, this is healthier for them. So I'll give them this one instead of this one. And then you look at the packets and it's just insane. It's Honestly, it's insane. So yeah, that's just what I've learned or had um, pointed out to me more, I guess. Yeah. Number six, how am I feeling about my progress? I am feeling really good. I did sort of sort of answer this before, but um, I'm feeling pretty proud of myself, um, especially once again with the bread, um, cutting right back on the bread and um, keeping up with my water intake is just has been really good and I'm really proud of myself for that. Um, um, I did also lose just over a kg. Um, yeah, so I weighed 91 kgs on the first, um, when we first did the, when we did the first video. And I now weigh 89.8, so 1.2 kg loss, um, which... I, I would just put it down to taking out the bread or even just um, hydrating myself more with all the water. Um, 
because I haven't done a whole lot of exercise or anything I yeah I am walking walking more than just around the supermarket at the moment is just getting really really painful but I am trying to yeah at least try and walk around a shopping mall or something every day or two just um yeah and I do also have to take my daughter to the kindy and the hill is like this no joke so doing that twice a day every day of the week um isn't much but at least it's something for now and then once I have the baby I will be I'm just I'm just so looking forward to getting like right into it after the baby comes as soon as I possibly can um, and also my husband is really wanting to get back and uh, get back get healthy and fit again as well so he is just um, that makes me more motivated as well because we can do it together which will be just so much better uh, number seven will you be making any changes to your goal or plans for reaching your goal um, at the moment no but as I said as soon as this baby is out and good to go I want to be getting into walking and exercising every day or every second day at least so yeah and I'm really excited I can't wait I'm just like hurry up so yeah that is it for this video update today um we have all um all of us in the collab have made a time for a change playlist on our cha on each of our channels which I will link everyone's playlist down below so make sure you go and check everyone's um, videos and playlists and channels out and um, give them some encouragement to keep them all going I think everyone's doing so well um, and don't forget that if anyone is interested you can of course join the collab as well we would love to have more people the more people the merrier so just get in touch with any one of us and we will add you onto the list and yeah thanks for watching I hope you guys all enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.